The moon hung low in the sky, casting an eerie glow over the dilapidated house at the end of the block. Icy fingers of wind snaked around my ankles, drawing me closer to the crumbling foundation. There was something about this place that called to me, like a siren song luring me deeper into the unknown. My heart thrummed in my chest as I approached the front door, the ancient knocker clutched tightly in my hand. With a trembling breath, I raised it above my head and let it fall, the sound echoing through the still night like a death knell. As I waited, the hairs on the back of my neck stood on end. It felt as though someone were watching me, their unseen eyes boring into my very soul. The air grew thick with an oppressive silence, broken only by the rustling leaves and the distant hoot of an owl. My fingers ached from the cold, and my toes had long since gone numb. But still, I refused to leave. There was something about this house, something that made me feel as though it held secrets, dark and twisted secrets that only I could uncover. Just as I was about to give up hope, the door creaked open, revealing a dimly lit foyer. A musty odor assailed my senses, a mixture of dust and ancient books. Shadows danced across the walls, obscuring the details of whatever lay beyond. I took a tentative step inside, the ancient floorboards groaning beneath my weight. Hello, I called out, my voice echoing through the empty house. Is anyone here? The silence that followed was deafening. I squinted into the darkness, trying to make out any signs of life. The foyer led into a dusty sitting room, its furniture covered in white sheets like ghosts of better times. Cobwebs hung from the chandelier above, casting eerie shadows on the walls. I took another step forward, my footfalls muffled by a deep pile carpet. The creak of a floorboard made me jump, my heart racing. Hello, I repeated, my voice quavering. Is anyone there? A figure emerged from the shadows, slowly making its way toward me. It was a woman, dressed in a long, flowing gown that trailed across the floor like a shroud. Her features were obscured by the shadows, but I could see that her skin was an unnatural shade of pale, almost translucent. Her eyes, when they finally met mine, were empty sockets, filled with darkness. Who are you? I managed to stammer my voice barely above a whisper. The woman did not reply, but continued to approach, inexorably drawing closer with each step. I tried to back away, but my feet seemed rooted to the spot. She reached out a skeletal hand, its long, bony fingers curling around my wrist. Let me go, I cried, twisting my wrist futilely. The woman's grip was like iron, unyielding and merciless. I could feel the coldness of her flesh seeping into my own, chilling me to the bone. She raised her other hand, revealing a single, long fingernail, sharp as a blade. With a swift motion, she sliced through the air, drawing a gash across my neck. I screamed, my pain mingling with the agony of my own helplessness. The woman's eyes glittered in the darkness, and for a moment, a terrible smile curled her lips. Welcome home. 